Sometimes all a person needs to find out what they're passionate about is to get a taste of that very thing they've been missing. In Houston, there's a program that gives students an opportunity to see what it's like to become a scientist or an engineer in the exciting world of space exploration. Space Center Houston is the official visitor center of NASA's Johnson Space Center. They have an interactive museum where visitors can see and touch some historic remnants from the past. Space Center Houston also offers a camp for kids where they get a feel for what it's like to work on NASA projects. <laughs> this week, there's a group from Trinidad and Tobago. Right now, they're competing with robots that they've built and programmed themselves. They're learning about computer science and coding along with engineering design as they design a robot to traverse Mars, so to speak. And what's really unique about that is we tie in what NASA's actually doing with Curiosity on Mars. And they're excited, which is awesome. They work in teams, just like they would for any NASA project. A major piece of exploration is looking and finding something that just intrigues you and, and gets at your heart. We want to show students that they can contribute. No matter where they start, you can contribute to science. Programming these robots requires STEM skills like engineering and math. Okay, so you got it going forward. So we figured that out. Adjust your turning radius. One mission of Space Center U is to inspire students who might be interested in pursuing a career in space exploration. It has so much things that I never saw before and I get to have it in my country. It is amazing. Oh my God. Engineering robots is just one example of what these students are exposed to. They also build heat shields and test them with blow torches. They get to build cryogenic capsules. Just the space is a really cold and extreme environment and they test them in liquid nitrogen. Tomorrow they tour the neutral buoyancy laboratory where the astronauts train in the giant swimming pool, this training facility. a girl. They also build their own rockets. Today, they'll be launching them close to where NASA tests different types of spacecraft. The girls actually built these rockets from scratch. We gave them direction, and now we're launching them to see if they were successful. If you'll help me, if you want to put one on this corner, I'll put one on this corner. You are a professional at this. You're doing so well. Good job. You must have launched rockets before. All right. Altimeters, are we go? Altimeters are go? Launch box are go? Launch box is go. OK. All right, I'm going to step back. Ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> Perfect launch, ladies. Outstanding. You walk out of here with that confidence knowing you can do this. You can do space exploration. You can do science. Space Center U shows that science can be both rewarding and a lot of fun. Very nice. Ladies, that was exceptional. Every single rocket launched exactly the way they were supposed to. NASA would absolutely be proud of you. Good job, ladies. As we've seen today, there are different ways young people can get a head start in the field of space exploration like going to a space-themed camp. I want to be a biological scientist and a NASA astronaut. And basically everything I've learned here, I can use in my career through my peers I've learned and through the staff and through all the activities that we're doing here. I feel like I've learned a lot. 